guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. And welcome to part four of my 2017 Christmas gift guide. Now on previous videos, I shared with you what we purchased for Mackenzie, for Jackson, and for Lily. But today we're talking about Griffin, my toddler. So if you're looking for gift ideas, or if you're just curious to see what we purchased for him, stay tuned. Now just with like the other kids, we tried to stick to a budget of $80 or less for Griffin's items. And I tried to stick with the four category approach as well. You know the something they want, something they need, something they wear, and something they read. But in his case, something that can be read to him since he is a toddler. Now Griffin is the baby of the family, so he gets the benefit of playing with everybody else's old toys as well. And he also gets hand-me-downs as well. So I feel like he didn't need quite as much, um, but I did try to fill those categories and make wise choices as well. So let's get started. So the first category here is the want category. And unlike my other kids that can actually tell me what they want, I had to guess when it came to something for Griffin. Now, unlike the other kids who got a couple of things in this category, I only got one thing for Griffin because it was a little bit more expensive, but this is a ball popper ball pit. And I'll go ahead and put a picture here so you can see exactly what it looks like. I found it on Walmart, and I really think it's cool because he can play with it independently. But to tell you the truth, I think the older kids are gonna wanna play with it as well. So hopefully they can share and play nicely together. And of course, it's still in the box because I haven't put it together yet. I feel like it's harder to hide once you put it together. So the next category is something he needs. Now for my older kids, I actually got them school supplies as something that they needed. And obviously Griffin doesn't do school, so he doesn't need that kind of stuff. So I actually got him a different toy instead because it's kind of something that mommy needs. Mommy needs him to stay busy, so that's why I picked this toy. This is actually a Melissa and Doug nesting block set. So it has 10 different blocks, has 10 different blocks that are really sturdy and that each have a different letter and an animal on the block. And if he stacks it, it can be like three feet tall. So I can see him playing with this for a long time, which is definitely something I need him to do on days where I'm trying to get my work done. This will hopefully keep him busy. Now I found this on walmart.com and it was about $9. Moving on to the something to wear category, I actually got four items for Griffin. Now two of them I am gonna give to him right away and two of them I'm gonna save for Christmas day. So I'll go ahead and show you what I'm gonna give to him right away first. Now just like older brother, I also got Griffin a teeny tiny Star Wars shirt. And this is for him to wear to Disneyland, which we'll be going to in a few days for the Christmas season. So this looks just like older brothers. And actually my husband has one that looks just like this as well, because I don't know about you, but I love matchy matchy Disney shirts when we go to the parks. I think that's really cute. I found this at Target for about $8. And then I also got him one other thing that he can wear right away. Forgot to open it, but it's another shirt. And this is a Mickey Mouse Christmas shirt. Isn't that adorable? I really wish they had this in Jackson size, but they didn't. But yes, he can wear this all Christmas season and I love it. Now for Christmas day, I'm gonna give Griffin these slippers. These are really funny little monster slippers that I got from Walmart. These are only $4.98, so not super expensive, and hopefully it'll keep his little feet warm. And speaking of keeping his feet warm, I did pick up some jammies, just like the other kids that got jammies. I got him jammies too, and these ones are Mickey and Pluto in the size 2T. I can't believe he needs a 2T. That seems really big. Anyway, I got these from Walmart, and they were about $10. Now the last section for Griffin is the something to read category. Now to tell you the truth, I pretty much have enough board books. We have so many board books already, so I didn't want to buy that. But what I got him instead was this little ebook. Now the older kids all have their own electronic toys, but Griffin doesn't have one. He's always trying to steal theirs. So I thought this kind of book would be perfect for him. Now this is actually made by the VTech company and it's the Touch and Teach Word Book. Now this is definitely something that we could do together or hopefully he could do on his own as well. And I really like this because it teaches words. He's not talking a lot yet, you guys, so hopefully this will encourage him. 
Okay guys, now that's everything that we picked up for Griffin. I'm pretty sure he's gonna love these items and of course we were able to stay under budget, which was important to me. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see a stocking stuffer gift guide because I'd like to do that video. If you'd like to see it, just let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.